please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. The Lord says to Simon Peter, I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail, and once you have turned back, Strengthen your brothers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of the chair of St. Peter the Apostle. Today we honor the role of leadership, of authority and service in the Church. In a special way in this Mass, let us pray for Pope Francis, the successor of Peter, so that he may truly be a shepherd to the whole Church. Let us now call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people, people of, of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, you we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. 
you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempests may disturb us, for you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you, as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ, and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint, but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Please stand. We can Jesus, kayo'y Kristo, anak ng Diyos, at si Jesus ay sumagot. Ika'y Pedro, patong subok, sa likang pangaya ng Diyos. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, 
For flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the nether world shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of the chair of St. Peter the Apostle. This is an odd feast in our liturgical calendar because normally we celebrate the feast of a person, of a saint. But today, we celebrate the feast of a chair. But do not think that what we are celebrating is the chair on which Peter sat. What we are actually celebrating is the symbol of the chair. What we are celebrating is what the chair stood for. And we know that the chair stands for the authority of Peter as leader, as shepherd of the church. And we will understand more deeply the meaning of this feast when we go to the historical background of the feast today. This feast is rooted in the pre-Christian festival in Rome called Parentalia. They celebrate Parentalia every 22nd of February. Parentalia is a day of ancestral commemoration. On this day, the Romans commemorate their ancestors. Pagpaparangal sa kanilang mga ninuno. Pag-alala sa kanilang mga ninuno. And on this day, on the day of the Parentalia, the Romans would decorate a cathedra, a chair, in memory of their beloved dead. Dinidekorasyonan ang isang upuan bilang tanda ng kanilang pagpaparangal sa kanilang mga ninuno. And so the Christians gave a Christian flavor to this feast of the Roman Empire, Parentalia. The, Rome, the Christians honored not only their own ancestors, but they also honored their ancestors in the faith. And so they recognized that Peter, as the leader of the apostles, is one such ancestor in the faith. And so, we have this feast of the chair of St. Peter, a day to recognize the authority of Peter as our ancestor, as our parent in the Christian faith. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, this day is also a day to recognize the many ancestors and parents that we have in our Christian faith. We honor St. Peter, but we also honor the other apostles, the many saints, the men and women of faith, and even unknown people who are our parents, our ancestors in the faith. Sila na naging 
daan upang ang pananampalataya ay magpapasa-pasa mula sa panahon ni Jesus, sa mga apostol, hanggang sa panahon natin ngayon. We recognize them and we honor them. But we also honor today those people who taught us about God, about Jesus. Those people who taught us how to answer the question of Jesus to His apostles in our gospel today. Who do you say that I am? We have our own answers to this question and we can answer this question because of the people who taught us about Jesus and about the Christian faith. Who are your ancestors, your parents in the faith? Sino ba ang nagpakilala sa inyo tungkol sa Diyos? Sino ang nagturo sa inyo tungkol kay Jesus? Maybe our own parents, our grandparents, our godparents. Maybe our catechists, our religion teachers. Maybe our own priests. They could also be our ancestors in the faith. Sila ang naging daan upang ang pananampalatayang Kristiyano ay manahin natin. We recognize today these people who taught us about God. But also we recognize those people who gave shining examples of following Jesus. Teachers and shepherds like what St. Peter tells us in our first reading today. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, faith is not just taught. Faith is also caught. Maraming mga nananampalataya sa Diyos, hindi lamang dahil sa turo ng ibang tao, Kadalasan ang pananampalataya sa Diyos nagsisimula sa halimbawa na ipinapakita natin sa ibang tao. We become shepherds to others when we become witnesses to our faith. And because of our faith, because of the witness of our faith, then people are also led to God. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Mass, we honor the chair of St. Peter, a symbol of authority and service, a symbol of being a teacher and a shepherd in the faith. Please pray for Pope Francis, the successor of St. Peter, you know that it is not very easy to be Pope nowadays. There are many criticisms against him coming from Catholic themselves, Catholics themselves. And so we pray for him so that God may continue to guide him as he shepherds the church and as he teaches the Christian faith in our contemporary times. And in this Mass, please also pray and thank God for the people who taught you the faith, through whom you caught also the faith, because they are also sitting on the chair of Peter, through which we are taught and from which we are inspired to follow Jesus like Peter. Please stand. God our Father, in your providence, you chose St. Peter 
as the leader of the apostles and as head of the church. We pray as a community of faith under the successor of St. Peter, trusting in you. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Pope Francis, the successor of Peter, may exercise his authority in the spirit of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Pope and the bishops and those in the diplomatic service of the Holy See may become effective agents of unity in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That pastors and all lay faithful may be steadfast in their faith and obedient to the magisterium of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may find healing in the ministry of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may join the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us remember the petitions of the people who asked for our prayers and those who offered for this Mass. Father, help us to become faithful followers of your Son by our obedience to the See of Peter. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept with favor, O Lord, we pray the prayers and offerings of your church, that with St. Peter as her shepherd, she may come to an eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in its integrity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Peter, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who at our celebration, the feast day of the blessed Apostle Peter, have nourished us by communion in the body and blood of Christ, grant we pray that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah. 